The Madison School District now facing a second lawsuit related to school library books. Students claim the district's infringing on their free speech rights. And this comes two weeks after the borough was sued for banning 56 books. Carly Shrek tells us this has been building for months after students protested school board decisions. The Matsu School District is on the heels of yet another legal battle. To be silent when this is something that's going on would be an incredible disservice to other students. After two prominent student government leaders have formally filed a complaint in district court, Student Advisory Board Representative Ben Colendo and President Quinn Shackle say their right to free speech was violated after they and other students were questioned during a school board-driven investigation for testifying against a policy change that limited student representation at the September 6th board meeting. It was very intimidating. It was very clear that the questions the district had him asking were targeted and trying to prove a point. The complaint also alleges their First and Fourteenth Amendment rights were violated after district administration set certain restrictions on two student-led walkouts. The schools can set some time, place, and manner restrictions, but they've gone so far beyond that to just prohibit any kind of free speech that has to do with politics or might be deemed a negative perspective of the school district or the school board. And that's the exact kind of silencing that we don't want to see in our schools. In a written statement Friday afternoon, the district said it has not been served the complaint yet. And once the district receives services of the complaint, it will review the matter, file a timely answer and provide comment as determined prudent. And with their high school careers coming to a close in just a matter of months. Schools are what bring up our democracy. If I'm working in our country later on in my life, if I'm working in government, I want the people who are coming into our government to be educated, democratic citizens who know their rights. They say their fight continues to set an example for the generations of Matt Sue students to come. Carly Shrek, Alaska's News Source. And once the district has been formally served the complaint, they will have 21 days to respond.